All right, guys, so we're going to continue on. Actually, I just realized my webcam auto adjust is off. Let me turn that on because I look like a ghost. There we go, much better. Now I don't look like a ghost. Uh, continue on here into the academy. What I did want to see is do I have enough? I do have enough to level up. Let's get a level. Let's see. Oh, there's a dude walking around right there. Oh, man. Uh, You know, I kind of want to keep doing FP because I have such low FP. My magic damage is good, but the output of is so shit. My FP is so bad, you know? Um, But if I up endurance, maybe I could put better armor on. Let's up endurance for now. And let's see if I can change anything out. I do like this area so far, Sadness Aaron. I'm not really too far into it, but I like it. So let's see. Like, can I get rid of the cloth trousers now? Now I could put on... No, I can't put on any fucking pants. I still gotta go pantsless. <laughs> I'm pant... Oh, I should wear the aristocrat boots. I can actually wear nice, nice gloves. The Carrion Knight gauntlets. There you go. We'll put on the Carrion Knight's gauntlets. Yeah, and that's it. I can't change my pants now. I'm stuck with these pants. Okay. Let's continue. I was gonna say, there's no way he's gonna block with that little dainty fucking sword. He's gonna get, or excuse me, the little dainty uh, shield against my giant ass sword. He's just gonna get fucking demolished, and then he did. Anything here? Chest, item, all kinds of shit in here. A conspectus scroll. Probably gonna teach sorceries. This is not where I wanna be. Maybe later in the game there's a faith. A faint area. This is all sorcery area, which I'm not using, so I'm not gonna get anything out of this. Oh shit! I found an illusory wall. Sweet. I was just messing around. Smithing stone level four. That's good. The level four are some of the ones I need. Secret passage. I oh, they're right. Oh shit. What do we got over here? I gotta check out everything here, man. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Where are we going? We're going on a trip. Real read message. Up. Try jumping. Look at this. Haha, <laughs> this is so neat. Nice. What do we get here? Hopefully a good item. The Olivenous Glintstone Crown. I got their, their fucking uh, helmets. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why did I change the halberd? Because people got tired of seeing it. I mean, it's incredibly good. It's still the best weapon. But I basically downgraded to a, 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 a not-as-good weapon. Here it is. The Olivenous Glintstone Crown. One of the Glintstone Crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence to the detriment of your HP. See that? So my intelligence goes up by 3, but my HP goes down by, like, 65 or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Martin says, with the music in the area and all the secrets, it's a good atmosphere, no? I think it's pretty nice. I'm digging it. The question is now, where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Okay. Cool. Hey, this method to the super chat. It Phil, this might sound stupid. What's the difference between when and... Between when and UFC? What is when? Nathan, I'm misunderstanding your question. What is the difference between when and UFC? I don't know what you mean. If you can rephrase that question, because I don't understand the question. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, WWE is he trying to say, you think? Nathan, did you mean WWE?
it's in this chest. Glintstone Craftman Cookbook. So I can craft more stuff. Maybe the magic pot. Maybe the, ma I don't know, magic grease. I'm not sure exactly what I could make by getting that. Magic bolts, perhaps. I can craft all this stuff and none of it is any use to me. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's continue. Okay, he meant WWE. WWE is scripted, staged, not not real outcomes. The actual athleticism of the people in, involved in WWE is real, but the combat is fake. It's all staged. Time to flatten some sorcerers. Turn them into fucking pancakes. If only I had a key. <laughs> if I only had a key. Time for rolling. No, I call it time for squ squashing. Ready? Watch this. I missed. What the fuck? There's a pot in here? I can't move. There's a giant fucking pot. This is bullshit. How was I supposed to know that shit? <laughs> you assholes. Look at this big doof. Say goodnight. Ew, big bloody explosion. Ew. I got a jar shard and a meat dumpling. Oh. So the trickiest part about that room was the fucking stupid pot you didn't even know was in the room. <laughs> you had no idea. Be wary of behind. Try circling around. Ritual pot. So that allows you to craft more potted items, I believe. Like if you wanted to craft those fire bombs and things, uh, you could craft more of them now. Ah, oh, Elden Ring. Cannot open from this side, so it's a shortcut gate. Got it. But anyway, Nathan, to follow up on what I was saying, you know, WWE, those guys who, who are wrestlers are very athletic. It takes a lot of work, dedication, practice to do what they do safely. But it's not real fighting. It's all scripted fighting. As opposed to UFC, it's a real competitive fight. The outcome is uncertain because it's based on the actual skill of the people fighting, not on a script. Uh, excuse me. Disgusting. Anything on here? No. I don't need to put anything secret on the stairs like that. Oh, this one's a tougher one. Oh, he has a big fucking sword! Use this for cover. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Okay, go. They're all sniping. They're sniping SOBs. I'll make you pay! Oh! Uh! <laughs> okay, there's one on the stairs. Dude, it's like, they all look like the Burger King with these masks on. They seriously all look like the Burger King, don't they? Take that, Burger King! You can't have it your way, bitch! The creepy Burger King mask. I guess I should just roll. Rolling's probably faster. Wraith? Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's a ring wraith. Sure it is. I'm surprised it didn't say, Spread cheeks, sit down with wide butt hole. <laughs> there, I could do it too. It's really intelligent, isn't it? Another one of these remedies. I don't know what they do. I pay no attention to them. You're at Burger King headquarters taking out all the mascots in training. Damn. That's fucked up. <laughs> I 
Oh, very nice. Where are we now? Secret room. Any enemies? Oh, there's a ladder too. Let me get the item, or let me get the uh, chest first. Sorcery ahead. Ooh. Comet spell. See, I'm not going to be using sorceries this playthrough, but maybe another one. Oh, an extra stone sword key. That is muy bien excelente. Now I have a bunch of them. Very nice. Now it's up on the second floor. See, this is very reminiscent right now of Bloodborne, right? But of course, there was also the, the magical library in Dark Souls 1. And then Dark Souls 3, there was something similar too. So a lot of comparisons to draw to the other games. Looks like I can drop down here. Is that behind the wall? It might be. I think that's a secret passage right there. Let me just make sure there's nothing else up here before I drop. But I think that's a secret passage over there. Yeah, it looks like. I'm going to try it. Where am I now? Oh, shit. What the fuck am I now? Totally new room. <laughs> What's going on? No enemies, I don't think. There's a giant glowing item. Making me very fucking nervous. The great... Uh-oh. Graven School Talisman? Oh, there's a lot of these guys. What? Is it I missed? How? Weird. I said I... Oh, there's a lot of these guys in here. This is a trap room, but it's all good. I'm ready for this shit. You can't trap my ass, bitch. Oh. Choppy, choppy, those fucks. Stream's going good, Pinocchio. Thank you for asking. Great progress today. Finding all kinds of secrets here in the academy. Um, I'm curious what this this talisman is. The Graven School or Craven School talisman? Graven School talisman raises the potency of your sorceries. Well, if I was a sorcerer, this would be good, right? It says, a talisman depicting a school of Cra Graven mages, the nightmare of the academy. Do you think maybe that's the boss? Hmm. The Addict Gamer did a super chat says, Phil, put downgrade on bad messages. I see what you're saying. If there's bad messages in the game, I should be voting them down so people know not to trust them. I, you're right. I haven't done that at all. I never really do. I never really bother with that stuff in uh, FromSoft games. By the way, I should say to everyone here live, thank you. Great audience today. Great uh, engagement. Great uh, contributions. Everything was great. Had a great time, and I'm playing this again as the mainstream tomorrow. Since we're having such a good time with the game, and I'm making great progress. Okay. Is this the door that did not open from that side, perhaps? That's exactly what it was. Cool. All right. I'm still in good condition here. I, I feel like I don't need to go sit at the bonfire. I'll just keep going with the three healing flasks I have. <clears throat> Gus, I have no idea if I would play Dead Island 2. I would need more information about it. At this point, it's been out for so... Oh, look at that staff right there. That's a badass staff. I wonder... Nope. Invisible wall. They won't let you jump there. All right. Well, we did that whole secret shit. You know, did you notice what stood out? That bookshelf had no books on it. The other bookshelves have books on it. That one didn't. And I. that's how I kind of had a, an idea that that was a secret. So maybe that's what I need to look out for. Oh, shit. Are we at the boss? What the fucking boss? Jumping required ahead. Try the try the way tail. What the fuck is a way tail? Uh. Well, I guess we'll do it. Red Wolf of Radagon. Holy shit! Look at this guy. It's Sith. It's fucking Sith.
It absolutely is sick. I didn't have enough healing. I only had the three flasks. It's Sif. They brought Sif back. It's the same pattern. Everything. It's the same sword that he used to run around with, right? Only now it's a spirit sword instead of a fucking metal sword. Same thing. Same boss. All right. Well, now I have my healing, so I should be fine. In fact, I could just run to him. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm pretty confident I could get to the boss door without fighting these guys. There we go. Yeah, see, because there's no enemies in this, this hallway. Okay. Oh my god. I was so concerned about getting the stupid grace that I didn't I was, you know, I was trying to then get my bearings. I couldn't get my bearings. I couldn't lock onto him to see where he was. He hit me in the back of the head with the magic. <clears throat> All right, let's try again. Maybe just forget um forget the stupid grace. It's not a lot. It's only like a 5,000 or something like that. I think I might just ignore it. Say, fuck the grace, fight the boss. Okay. hits you, you get staggered. When he hits you, you can't move. You just get stuck in place, so then I can't roll or recover. I'm just stuck standing there like an idiot. Seems like a boss, like, if you have really high poise, insanely easy, but he's staggering me with each hit and I can't get out of the way. Thank you to ga add a gamer for a super chase. If you put messages, they heal you. When you have when you have many of them, it's better. Oh, I know how that works. Yep. <clears throat> Don't forget my buff drink. My buff drink won't work. My buff drink is not for this sword, Garziak. My buff drink is for only holy. It only works buffing holy damage, and I don't have any holy damage right now. So. I might just go back to the fucking... The, the, I might go back to it. The halberd. Tried to move, so I couldn't move. I rolled. This is such bullshit. I counter and rolling right through it. And it hits me anyway. Roll. Thank you.
not gonna let me heal. They won't let me hit him! <laughs> another giant boss I can't hit. Literally another giant boss I can't hit. His body is like this. My sword just passes through, passes through. I've already complained about how bad this game is with its hitboxes. Literally, I'm passing through his body multiple times. They won't let me get the hit. <laughs> it's unbelievably stupid. Like, dude, you are a giant monster. I have a giant sword. How the fuck could the giant sword miss the giant monster that's standing directly in front of the giant sword? Because the hitboxes are terrible. The boss hitboxes are amazing. My hitboxes are shit. It's so bad. And now I'm getting attacked by enemies outside the door. Memory stone. He waited patiently out there for me to kill it. Okay. Well, you could definitely see the scaling. Okay. You could definitely see the scaling. I killed that boss. It gave me 14,000 runes. Right? Or grace. When I killed the worm, the magma worm boss, it gave me 24,000. So you can definitely see that the magma worm was in, intended to be a much harder boss for later in the game. All right, we're definitely not done. There's definitely more to do. Now I can assign more spells, I believe, right? Actually, I bought, I, I just realized I bought a memory stone earlier and never assigned more spells. Yeah, look. Wow, I'm stupid. Um, are there any spells I would want to assign? Maybe Assassin Approach, so that way no one can hear me coming. This I obviously want when I hit 41 Faith. I'm not even close. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I want to assign anything right now, honestly. I don't think I could. And nothing could. Yeah. Me. Okay, maybe heal is the last desperate attempt if I run out of uh, the flask. But I guess that's about it. Uh, to level up, I need 18. I'm pretty sure I have enough. Okay. Wow, that's disgusting. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now, once again, if I level up Endurance, perhaps I'll have my equipment up enough that I'll actually be able to equip better equipment. Okay? I do want to go into Faith eventually to get to the higher level face stuff, and that's going to scale weapon damage. Um, yeah, or mine for FP. Now, nah, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do endurance again. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba I can put on these again now. Not that they're any better, really. This is the magic school, so I'm trying to re reflect magic, you know? So I'm just gonna keep my pants on, I guess. The... Okay. So actually, if you take a look, the Carrion Knight armor actually does better for magic. And that's what I'm up against here, so I think I'm gonna wear that Carrion Knight armor. Okay. Okay, how do I look now? Oh, wow. My body looks impressive. The rest of me looks ridiculously stupid. Okay. Okay. I guess we continue. Uh, Alice Telemont took me $1.50 and maybe fuck up the wolf with the ice rapier and shield combo. The rapier might have worked, 
because it's fast. Maybe I would have been able to stab it in the butt multiple times before it could get out of the way. As you saw, I was able to hit it a ton with this, this sword just stupidly. Oh, you're whiffing. No, I'm not, you fucking dumb fuck. I'm not whiffing. It's right in front of me. Your hitboxes suck shit. Okay. Onward. Help me. What's next? Help me. Precious item ahead. Try right. A ladder ahead. You're right. Look at that. Thanks for the help. Messages. Oh. Seems familiar. Well, I'm going to go in there in a second, but what's the, anything down here? No. All right. Elden Ring? No, it's not the Elden Ring, you idiot. <laughs> Crystal Bud. So we're above where we just fought the boss now. Yep. No liar ahead. Hidden path. There was a liar ahead. Samus Aronson was my favorite boss so far. Oh. Um. I don't know if it's my favorite boss, but my favorite boss fight was the Crystal Dragon because I get to utilize both magic and melee on the horse during the fight. A Radagon icon. The fuck is that? Shortened spell casting time. A legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Radagon. Shortens the casting time of sorceries and incantations. Now, previously in this playthrough, people have been talking about future stuff in the game, saying there's a boss named Radagon, and I started joking. I said, man, he must be a studly guy. He must be like the Brad Pitt, you know, the real handsome fellow of this game. I mean, looking at that, yeah, look at him. He's ripped, ripped, buff. He's got flowers growing out of his ass. It's pretty, pretty studly. So as the husband of Renala of Caria, aren't we... Is it, didn't they say Renala was the head of this academy? The red-haired Radagon studied sorcery and as the husband of Queen Marika... Wait, what? As the husband of Renala of Caria and the husband of Queen Marika, he was a husband... He is double husband. Oh. So he studied sorcery and he studied incantations. I guess if we fight him in the game, he's going to know everything. He's going to know all the magic. Huh? That's the wrong character? Oh, you guys are talking about Radon, not Radagon? Oh, excuse me. I got Radon and Radagon confused. They sound so different that I, I can't imagine how that happened. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Anyway, thanks for clearing that up. Oh, beware of an ambush. Well, there's a guy standing right fucking there staring at me. Big boy with a big sword. I missed. I'm very Moo! You heard him? Moo! So the wolf belonged to Radagon. The wolf did not belong to Radon. No, Ragon. Wait, is it Ragon or Radon? Or is it Radagon? Or is it Ragadagadon? Now look where I am. Rogan! Rodan! Rodagon! Oh! Oh, ouch! They explode into a bloody mess. It's pretty disgusting. Did you Rodan Rodagon? Ah! Don't hit me, you fucking... You portly fuck. <laughs> Take that, Radagadon. 
I got another cracked pot, so if I want to craft more of those items, I can. I probably never will. But, uh... Could this be an item? Oh! No, it's not, you idiot. What's this over here? A living jar shard. I have a bunch of those. No precious item ahead. Praise the bug! Major head, time for stealth. You guys seen Rodagon or Rodan? Anyone know the way? Rodagon! Rodan! <laughs> oh, you can't shoot magic through the wall, you idiot. They're trying, though. They're that stupid. Rodan! Ah! I can't hit these guys. Kill guy. Rodan! Oh! Rodagon! <laughs> That's gonna be my battle cry from now on. Rodagon, Rodan! I'm just gonna run and say it everywhere I go. That's the that's the new Leroy Jenkins call. The Rodagon Rodan. It's equally stupid. Glintstone wet blade. I think I already had one of those. Oh god, another one of those robots. Down in the courtyard. I might just cheese it out with magic if I can. What? This guy came down the stairs? Who said you could do that? There's another one. Ah! Interrupt. Yeah, I might cheese it. You think I could hit it from up here? I might be able to if I, like, stand here. Maybe I could cheese it with li with Dick Lightning. Oh, wait. There's other enemies down there, too? Uh, that's going to suck because they're going to draw away from it. Go, Dick Lightning. I'm going to fucking cheese this game. Dick Lightning. Go, Dick Lightning. <sighs> nah, I'm probably not in a good position. Maybe higher up. Try jumping, but be wary of behind. So many Burger Kings to kill. Golden room. I mean, you could jump down on that rooftop, right? But is there any reason to? What if I run all the fucking way out there? You think there's secrets or you think I'm fucked? You think I'm screwing myself, right? I don't know. It's a risk to take, but... Hmm. It doesn't look that far down of a drop, so I think this would be okay. Right? Alright, let's do it. Let's take the risk. I could also drop down here. That's I think that's how I get back. But let's see what's over here. Oh yeah, this is the way to go. There's enemies. Radon! You missed every arrow. You're one of the worst archers I've ever seen. Oh, and then he immediately hits me. Just to be an asshole. Nothing over here. Nope. Okay, we gotta go up this ladder. Well, before I do that, can you run around and see? Oh, yeah, see? You gotta investigate, man. Golden room. Anything on the other side before I head... Oh, wait. No, okay. Anything on the other side? Huh. <laughs> No, I had nothing to do here, so we go up the ladder. Woo! Woo! Oh, you like my singing voice? Take my revenge for the chicken sandwich? That's right. Burger King's going down. Oh shit, what is this? Alright, this com totally looks. Dude, are you shitting me? This looks just like. Uh. Dark Souls 3, the optional castle. With the vampires. Where the gargoyles are standing on the pillars that they jump down, you actually have to fight them. That's exactly what this looks like.
You missed. <laughs> Wait a minute. That guy also has my hat on. He's wearing my hat, I think. Fuck you. Fucking own, bitch. You don't fuck with dick lightning, motherfucker. My magic's better, bitch. The Tower of Latria? No. Well, I mean, yeah, no. Yes that, but I'm talking about the vampire castle. When there's the gargoyle sitting up top, and then they swoop down, and you gotta fight them. Nah, he wasn't wearing my hat. He was just an asshole. Dick Lightning! Ah. No one cheaps out Dick Lightning, son. That's my job. It's my job to cheap you out. <laughs> Guts, welcome back. I'm having fun, if you can't tell. Alright, if I only had healing, praise this message. If I only had healing, praise the message. Still no ladder, by the way, praise this message. Be careful here, make sure I'm not going to get jumped. If only I had a healing. Help me, please praise this message. No. Meteor bolts. Looks like we're dropping down again. Yep. Looks like we're dropping down. We've got an item up there, but I can't reach it from here. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to drop down a series of rooftops. Now, I keep dropping down that way, but that's going to lead us all the way down. What's over here? Liar ahead. Key ahead, then sorcery ahead. Yeah, no, there's nothing ahead. Look. That's death. I guess we're going to head down again. Oh, really? Darcy X says you could have got to the item. It's incredibly tricky parkour to get to it. Well, it's too late now. I didn't realize. I thought you'd do it from another direction. I guess not. Oh, well. I guess you can't get every item, right? Likely here, try ranged battle. I see a ladder over there to go down. But I also see an asshole here. And there's guys patrolling everywhere. See that? Well, that worked. The problem is there's another one I can't do. Fucking annoying asshole. <laughs> this animation completely wigged out. Freaking out. Cuckoo Glintstone. Here, yeah, the, we saw the ladder over there. See if there's anything over here first. Whew. Arrow. Golden room. Nothing there, right? That's yep, that's a drop on that. So, yep, okay. Cause remember, you can jump over all this shit. So if there are hidden ledges, you could jump over, but not that's a that's a drop. So we're gonna go the other way. Is this the first Souls parkour? I mean, there always was exploration like this, but it was always very, very... What's the word? Trepidatious? You couldn't really fully explore because you, your platforming abilities were terrible. Now, this is like the first game where it seems like you like can fully explore with this. Yeah, there's more enemies over there, but I actually saw items over here first that I want to do. Over here. Do this first. Yep. Hopefully there's not a trap. Try jumping. Another item ahead. Okay. Imbued sword key. No shit. That is what we do to go to the four belfries. Yep. That's the four belfries. I can go to another one of the four belfries now if I want. Nice. Wonder what that what uh, is that the other four belfries? I'm curious to find out. Here's another item. 
Smithing stone level three. That's shitty. <laughs> That's pretty shitty, actually. Okay. So wait, we can jump across and fight those guys. See that? There's a whole other area over there. Or I could go down the ladder. Like, I'm almost thinking I should go down the ladder first, because I could always just climb back up. If I jump across, I'm stuck over there, right? So I maybe should go down the ladder first. Does this work as a good introduction to the Souls games? You know, that's a... That's a tough question. Because... I feel like having the prerequisite knowledge of playing all the other games, I'm doing a lot better than I would have if I didn't. But I've heard a lot of people say that this is their first Souls game and they're enjoying it. Is that a crab? There's a crab over there. So I guess that's a good sign. Um, look at all these crabs. What's up with these crabs? Somber Smithing Stone level 4. It's a good item. Actually, in fact, I think with that one... No, I think I need level 5 is what I'm looking for. Not level 4, actually. Alright, so now I call... But yeah, now I go back up and I jump across. I'm running out of time. We only got about 20 minutes left, guys. Which sucks that, uh... We're running out of time. Because we're having a lot of fun here. With this exploration of the Academy. But, it is what it is. We resume tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like having the knowledge of the previous games is very useful at the same time. Um, a lot of people have said this is their first Souls game and they are having a good time with it. So I guess it really depends on who you are, right? The Cleaver! Give him the Cleaver! Oh! Yeah, we gotta go into this, obviously. But I'll let me get some items around here first. Oh! I can't move. I'm stuck. I was stuck in place because of the camera. The camera was locked onto one of them, and it wouldn't let me move because the camera was stuck. So I almost fell off the edge of the fucking building because of the shitty ass camera. Good thing I didn't because I would be pretty upset. We're definitely going to go in there and investigate. But let's check out the other stuff first. Yeah, I agree. Madara's God said, man, I've never seen so many new players jump into a new type of game like this. It's something special. I agree. Like, the other Souls games, did they get popular? Yeah. Did people meme about them? Yeah. But did people play it like this? Did it become one of the best-selling games of all time? No. This is definitely something different. So there's how we go down to get to the crab. But if I go down and see the crab, can I get back up? Uh, No, there's no ladder. But that crab is definitely something special, right? It's glowing. So I guess the question here would be, what do I want to do? Oh my god. I can only do one or the other? Oh, seriously? It looks like I can only do one or the other. I can't do both. Because if I drop here and get this, I'm stuck. You see? Golden Room 3. Yeah, it looks like there's... Uh, if I go down here and I get this rare item in the chandelier, then I'm stuck on the chandelier. See? So maybe I should just go for the crab. By the way, thank you to the Out of Gamer again for another super chat. He said, this is now my, my favorite game of all time. I have over 500 games. This feels bigger than Skyrim to me. I mean, yeah. Maybe in some ways it is. I don't know. Skyrim is humongous, but maybe. I think I'm going to go for the crab. Let's see what the crab is. Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. So I guess there's going to be rare creatures you kill and you get items out of them like that? I... Martin, you're way late. He literally just says, get the chandelier. It's a quest item. You, It's 
we're like a full 45 seconds late. <laughs> yeah, look. They're exactly the same, except this one lowers your stamina. One of the Glintstone Crowns really increases intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina. So as you can see, this one gives you intelligence for HP. This one gives you even more intelligence, but it lowers your HP and your stamina. So now I can't get back up there. I'm fucked. There's no way to climb back up there and get that chandelier item, huh? Without going through the whole fucking place again. Which I'm not doing right now. Fuck that. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can. Looks like I got fucked. Because remember, the only way to go back up, I'd have to go all the way back up to Church of the Cuckoo and do all that platforming again. Which is way the fuck up there at the top. So, that's t that's not happening. Maybe later if I need it for the quest, but I'm not doing that shit now. Oh, uh, no. Fucking bullshit. I slammed him, and again, it claims I didn't hit him. The game is so full of shit sometimes. Shattering Crystal. Yeah, see, that would have been the chandelier. And then I would have... I guess... You know, I guess I could have. I guess if I had landed... On the chandelier, I could have gotten it, fell to the bridge, and then went out and got the crab. But I didn't know that. There's no way you could see that from the outside. Ladder ahead. Oh, yeah? Where does this go? The beginning. We're at the very beginning. Yeah, we just opened up a shortcut to the beginning of the place. Oh, shit. I am upset I didn't get it. And now I have to do all that platforming over again if I want to get that fucking quest item. Then again, I don't know what the quest item is even for. I don't know if it's anything I'd be interested in. You know, is it a quest for someone who I care about or will help me? Or is it just bullshit? Do I want to fuck with this guy? I'll make him come to me. Fuck that. Then he can't use ranged. Here we go. Bye. That is how you do it. Fuck that shit. I melted his fucking underpants off. <laughs> okay, anyway. What do we got behind it? A reward item for all of this, huh? Oh my god. This was the, the corrupted sorcerer faces we saw on the the hidden item we already found. The Azure Glintstone Staff. Oh my god. Rare item. I mean, I'm not going to be using staffs. Uh, take a look at it, I guess. Just for the sake of uh, looking at shit we earned. So we have the Demi-Human Queen's Staff. This one, oh, this one's slightly better. It only requires 52 intelligence to use. Staff of the Primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Azur. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but it consumes additional FP. And you can actually assign uh, a skill to it. Martin says, honestly, it's not a vital quest for you. It gives magical stuff that I'm not going to use. Sorceries, right? So then I probably won't go back for it. 
slightly better than that other staff. This is like a low level, mid level, high level staff right there. Yup. Okay. Uh, we're done, right? Now, here's the thing. I think what I'd have to do is go back to Church of the Cuckoo. Because... We have to go the other way. Remember, I used the rooftops. I went this alternate way, right? But we're done, right? Let's make sure there's nothing else here. We did everything. We cleared it all except for that one item. Madara's God says the staff isn't even that good. <laughs> Fight a tough enemy in a, in a narrow corridor. Super hard to get there because you have to do all this optional platforming. Item isn't any good. Of course, that's Dark Souls, right? That's Dark Souls to a T. Give you a shit reward after all that work. Yeah, this is the beginning. This gets us back to the beginning. Yeah. So there's no point in going down. This is stuff we've already done. That's the guy. And there's going to have the, the fucking forearm dudes are down there. So I guess we should just fast travel. Back to the Church of the Cuckoo. Okay. Push to the boss? I don't know how. <laughs> where Where is the boss? Oh, this isn't it. I went to the wrong one. Uh, was it the debate parlor? I think it was the debate parlor. Was the one that that's the furthest uh, save point, right? Yeah. Okay. So now instead of doing the rooftops, I got to go the other way. Is it worth it to kill this robot, or is the robot just an annoyance? Because I'm just gonna skip it. There's the robot. I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh boy. I'm glad I came over here. That was worth coming over here for. Even if I die, still worth it. Oh my. We are getting a uh, sandwich fucked here by a fucking giant robot and a giant enemy crab. <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting to get sandwich fucked out here, but. I mean, again, from software, so fuck them. Let's just run. We got the items. Okay. Enough sandwich fucking. Good. I avoided those assholes. Look how pissed they are. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait. It's fine. I dodged it perfectly. Never mind. That was okay. Woo! Wait a minute! They, they do repeated ones? Well, I don't like that at all. Let me get the item quick. How are they finding an unlimited supply of giant balls? Oh, shit! Seriously, like, can you imagine the cost to manufacture one of those? They got unlimited balls? Uh, what's going on? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Who is that? Who the fuck are you? And then over here, we got a teleportation spot. And no save point. Use the teleporter first. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? The Church of Vows? What am I doing here? Huh? This isn't the Church of Vows. The Church of... Oh, come on! You 
you piece of shit. Wait, where am I now? I'm s I'm f I am so confused. I've been to the Church of Vows, and their boss wasn't there. What is going on? What the fuck? Uh, the boss spawns at night? Really? So wait, can I fight him if I have this go tonight? Can you only do it if you teleport out of the fucking academy? Then he shows up and that's it? That's weird. A boss that only shows up if you teleport out of the academy. Huh. Weird. Well, it would have been nice if I could find a new site of grace, but we're going to run out of time here. Alright, I'll try this guy once. I can't move. Why does he have so much stamina? Oh my god, that shit is so sick. The Karian Knight Shield. Dude, my ability is insane with this weapon. It steamrolled him. He didn't even have a fucking chance. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Hello, dingus. How you doing? Guts, I'll see you tonight. Sounds good. I agree. Great progress today. So now, do I go straight or left? I'm looking for a fucking save point, man. No, you can't cheap shot me. Suck my dick. The Lucarian robe. The golden robe. Where's this? Oh. Behold a ladder. Yeah, look. And a way to open this door, too. Okay. Maybe I can go up and kill the guy who's pushing those giant fucking balls. And maybe if he dies, then you can come back here and you don't have to worry about the balls anymore. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, shit. Okay, hold on a second here. Hold on. Hold on. Are you shitting me? Look where I am. He pushed me into the corner. I couldn't do anything. I was stuck in a corner. And then the other guy hit me with magic while he kept spinning. I couldn't dodge it. So completely bad luck with the placement of how I landed there. It had nothing to do with me misplaying it. It was just insanely bad luck with the fucking design of the room. Well, I'm out of time, guys. I would like to play more. I'm having fun. This is a very good dungeon, I feel. I actually really enjoy this uh, Academy dungeon. But we are out of time for now. So tomorrow we will pick up right where we're leaving off here. We're just going to go back that way, you know. And uh, and try to, to uh, clear out that area and keep going. Alright? So thank you guys. Great stream. Great progress. Great everything, right? Great support. Everyone had a good time. Great new progress with weapons and everything. I mean, holy shit. So thank you guys so much. Until next time. Awesome.